Aloha. All my beautiful friends and family and whatever you are to me. I'm here at the ocean. And today I want to talk about mental health. Uh, I've been seeing more... Oh, I've been seeing more and more uh, admissions of this. Of experiences where maybe mental health is, is not 100 and that's great not that it's happening but the admission to the self so you're, you're putting an end to the delusion right um, although <laughs> with the world that we live in it's really hard to quote unquote see because we're not actually seeing everything um, but without getting too far off every day especially if the sun's out every day I come here and when the sun's not out I drive these long lonely roads these long lonely gravel roads and I listen to my favorite music and I make a video and I talk about whatever is coming up with me that day and I keep to myself mostly um, I have a lot of friends and I love many and I'm loved by many and for that I'm really really thankful um, but just like everybody else you know there's 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 you know potential drawbacks or whatever like just yesterday I heard a story that was the furthest thing from the truth and I'm just like why people why but this is more focused to people living on an island <laughs> uh, you, there's things like what, what do they call island fever fever or cabin fever fever uh, there's uh, you know the potential for mental disorders seems to be a little more prevalent when you live in a confined space let's just say uh, I have noticed a lot more delusion as well and 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 to me, all delusion is, is, is we, we already understand where we're at. But when you, when you deny it and then tell another story on top of the already existing story, that's delusion. It's, and, and we do it, our brain does it as a coping mechanism, as a way to cope because we, we really don't want to see anything. So we don't. And it's become a big, huge habit but we're breaking out of it and part of breaking out of it is the mental disorder so you get depressed right this depression so you if you've paid any attention to my posts the last probably six months it's because it is what I am focused on so of course what I'm focused on becomes my reality right so I studied the bees brain for many years and the bees brain bought me brought me to the bees gut well, that brought me to the human. It's very similar. Everything is so very similar. And at its core, it's all the same. And no matter how many times you remind each other of that, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because when you're in a place of confusion, when you're in a place of sadness and overwhelming dismay, it's everybody else's fault but your own. And then finally you start to see that there's no fault. And that's when it begins to really open up and really heal. But, but sometimes we can get so fucking engulfed by everything that's going wrong. And we're focused on everybody else's shit that's wrong, right? Because we don't want to look at our own, our own guilt, our own shame. To be truthful, to be 1,000% direct, there is no such thing. You're creating it all. And we still live here. Please don't be limited by what I just said, though, because you can, you can change anything at any time in any place. But if it, was, if it was so easy for everyone, we could just snap our fingers and be done with it, right? But... It seems to be not that easy so we look around we see people totally in delusion right like 
a failed marriage or something and 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 even though it's so obvious like you're the one that got left right and you you have let's say drug and alcohol abuse you will look for every reason for it to be her fault you'll even make it sound like you left her and that's not true you know the truth but because, we're, and I'm only picking relationships, is because we put so much credit into relationships. We give, we give away so much credit. And my friends, it's all, it's all me, it's all you. So it's okay, it's okay to, to be alone. It's okay to create uh, habits that are like routine, that are more like a child's life. Like a child obviously craves routine, right? And then anytime they're outside that routine, they seem to be having so much fun. So just imagine you have that child mind, create meditation practice, create yoga practice, create stretching, create a walk, create a bike ride, create a drive. <laughs> Do whatever it is that you need to do to create some sort of routine where you're just gone. You're outside of this head, you're outside of this body, and, and you're just floating around. It will free up so much space for you to process. You hear that? As I talk, like the ocean, the ocean, everything is here for you. None of this is an accident. The ocean is building up steam and power as I discuss something that brings me so much strength and so much freedom. Of course, the reflection is all around me, right? It is to remind you it's no accident. It's not just happenstance. No. Give yourself credit. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're powerful. Look at yourself in the mirror and do those positive affirmations. And don't judge everyone. You know, like, like judging outside of yourself can lead you down a very delusional road. And then you're just ca caught in constant thought, constant criticism. And then there's this back talk. There's this, like you get into these toxic relationships where you're like pointing the finger at them and they're pointing the finger at you. And it's like, wait, what do you mean? And then the conversations you have, well, you did this and you did that. No, don't, don't, don't. It's okay to be alone. And then you will be consumed, right? You will get that moment of like, oh my God, I can't be alone for another minute. I need, I need, I need. That's the tipping point, right? That's the breaking point. You're afraid of what's happening in those moments. You'll make it through. And if you absolutely are afraid of your mental state, pick up the phone and call a professional. Even if you don't have medical insurance, there are professionals that will hear you. Because if you continue to the delusion, it could be really painful. It can get really ugly. There's a lot of things going on in this world. And at any moment, they could happen to you. And if you're not in a strong mind, body, spirit, what's going to happen? Reach out for the help. Don't worry. You will not be crucified. I know it appears like it is because of what's going on in your mind, all the crucifying that you're witnessing and that you're a part of. Create routine, okay? Share love, 
speak positivity even when somebody is speaking negatively about you or at you or to you making up stories the moment you get involved in those stories is the moment the delusion becomes yours you can witness this delusion all around you and just honor it just say wow that's crazy what a great story about me <laughs> you know the fucking truth you know it but the moment you get involved in there You know, all these, these arguments on Facebook about all this shit. Man. If that's what you want to do, then do it. Just know that if you're experiencing these toxic uh, conversations about all of this perceived drama and this perceived negativity, well, what do you think? What do you think is going to happen? Spend time with children. That's the best medicine, in my opinion. Give them what they need. <laughs> and watch, watch your world change. Give a child what they want. And watch the world change. You don't have to justify and say, Oh, I, you can't have that. You can't do this. You can't, can't, can't. Just listen to the child. That's a great 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 experience and I know you're sharing duties right you're sharing quote-unquote responsibilities of these children with the other parents or family right so so yes indeed you get to take them into consideration too just remember what you do while you are a parent is for you and for that child what you do uh, for that child no matter what your relationship is if your uncle or auntie or or, or, or whatever I don't even know if I'll post this one because, because this is such a sensitive subject and I don't have any answers. I just can only tell you what works for me. And with all the fucking shit going on, all of it, I want you to know, most importantly, I am here for me. I'm here for me first and foremost. And I love me. And because of that, I love you. And even if you're a shit talker, even if you're delusional, okay? I'm here for you. I love you.